It's 7.45, I'm already done with my short. Here I have my to-do list, let's get going. I'm gonna get dressed now and then I think I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup because I'm thinking of the editing me and I know she will be grateful. I think I'm gonna build the outfit around my blue socks because yeah, I'm weird like that. I am not doing the bed today, sorry. We are approaching to the finale of my living alone diaries. Tomorrow I'm going home. It was so surreal because I also was just home the past month and then I had my family here, my parents, and now I'm going home again. Done. Just realized that this thing was in the shot the entire time. So I feel the need to explain to you what this is. This is a little piece of fabric to clean the lens. You guys, here, you see? And this is a little blower to also clean out the lens. You go like this and you blow into the lens so that the dust kind of flies away. That's that. It had its moment in the spotlight. First I'm gonna cut all the salads so that the new ones will start growing while we're gone because this one is getting old and a bit rotten. I think it's better that I get rid of it. I don't think I have to water the vegetables I just sowed because you can see there are some very gray clouds incoming. So I guess mother nature will take care of that. And I can just take this hose and put it away. All right, garden work is finished. Let's back off before it starts raining. Oh, the lighting right now is so beautiful. I'm gonna miss this place a lot, but it's also always nice to spend time with the family. And now it officially started raining, so... Cooking my eggs for breakfast. One egg exploded, so we have this going on. Ah, ooh, that's hot. I have six eggs left. I think I'm gonna take five to the airport. That's gonna be the food that I'm packing with me. Because due to my gut health condition, it is very difficult for me to find food that I can eat on the airport, so i rather take stuff with me. And since I have extra eggs, be sure that I'm not gonna throw them away. These eggs are so yummy. I buy them from local farmers and their products are just freaking out of this world. No chance that I'm wasting an egg like this. I'm gonna make some payments for my accountant before I go. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be snacking on this protein bar. They're small, okay? And this is part of the breakfast, so it's not even snacking. It's a breakfast food. I feel stupid for crying, for such a stupid reason. My accountant sent me three payment documents today. I had to make all those three payments that usually my boyfriend makes. But because he's not here, I said, you just tell me how to do it, I'm gonna do it. He told me everything, I did two payments, went through like a breeze, and then we came to the third payment, and they decided to block my account. And of course this has to be happening today, one day before I leave. Have a nice day, bye bye. My account has been unblocked. I got a very nice man on the phone, the tears were not needed, but I still have to make the payment. Fingers crossed, you guys. It didn't go through again, but at least my account is not blocked anymore. It's just this metric is not working. It's stupid, it's, I hate it. I don't know, I hope I can pay this freaking document before I go on my vacation. Ugh. I still always print my boarding pass, even though I have it on the phone, because I don't trust technology. Due to the experiences, as we witnessed a couple of minutes earlier. That ponytail was giving me a headache, and we don't need more headaches today. We've had enough. Plus I'm cold, I'm gonna get a robe. So cold or am I just super stressed? I don't know. I need all the fluffiness and coziness in this world today. 
help. Have to post a TikTok. Let's also post one Instagram reel. I've also scheduled some shorts, so we're moving on on our to-do list. It is still bugging me that I haven't made that payment yet. Because my boyfriend is still in the air, so I have to wait for him. And I hope I manage to do it then, otherwise I'm gonna be very, very, very sad. I got hot again, so I ditched the rope. But I'm now getting my vitamins ready. I'm not even in the mood to start packing before I do this health insurance payment. It is bugging me so much, it's all I can think about. Okay, I got the suitcase and absolutely not doing the bed today, no chance. Not a single one, not at all. No, I'm not doing it. Nah, I know. I know this is not a dead girl thing to do to live. It's fine, we're fine, the floor is fine. Tomorrow I have to hit the road at 4 a.m. One of my concerns is how I'm gonna reverse back with the car on the street. In pitch black darkness, because I've never done that. I've only been driving in the daylight. But we're gonna think about that tomorrow morning. Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare some cat food because I'm not gonna be doing that at 4 a.m. when it's dark outside. This is the food that I have in my car to feed the street cats. I hope someone feeds them when I'm not here. It's gonna be 10 long days. So I'm gonna give them an extra big portion tomorrow morning. Here's the food, let's put it on the passenger seat. Okay, moving on. I picked up some last strawberries and I'm checking my to-do list. Hmm, I've just remembered of Tani. I wonder how she's doing, I hope she's fine. Some of these strawberries are not completely ripe yet, but right now it's a situation of take it or leave it, so... When it comes to strawberries, you know I'm gonna take it even though it looks like this. Okay, while waiting for my boyfriend to come home so we can pay that freaking document that is bugging me, I literally cannot think of anything else today. And in this state, I'm not in the mood for packing, so I'm in the state for torturing myself a little bit more. It's time for waxing. I'm gonna watch some TV and wax those legs and maybe also arms. I have blonde hair on the arms, but they are quite long and especially if I'm cold and they kind of stay up, I look like a little fluffy chick. And since I'm going on a wedding, I figured I'll take care of that. If someone is bothered by hairy legs, sorry that you had to watch my hairy legs for the past few days, but as you saw, I literally had no time to do it until now. Sometimes I can use one sheet three times and it still works. Yeah, it's still working. Okay, I'm gonna go now. This is kind of personal. We've managed to pay that invoice. Finally, I can start packing. <laughs> okay, what do I take? I'm going for 10 days. I need underwear, socks. Let's start there, because that's the easiest. We got underwear, we got socks. As for the outfits, they are saying that it is extremely, extremely hot at home. So I need shorts, I need tops, and probably a hoodie that I'm gonna travel in. That's enough. As for the shorts, I have a lot of sweat shorts. These or maybe these here. Hmm. I should think about which tops I wanna go for and then decide which shorts go together the best. You cannot go wrong with white ones, right? They go with everything. So maybe I should just bring these. <laughs> We have socks and we have underwear. As for the clothes, I decided to just go for this sleeveless top like this. Two short sleeve t-shirts, a long sleeve denim shirt that I could use like a jacket if it's a little bit colder in the evening, although I doubt it's gonna be because it is boiling. Then I got these linen shorts. I bought this not long ago and denim shorts. Oh, I'm also bringing this short, which I'm probably gonna wear nine out of 10 days. Okay, but there is one important thing that is missing in here. The main reason that I'm even going to visit my family right now is my brother's my wedding. So I need a dress. I come home on a Tuesday and the wedding is not until Saturday. So I have three days that I maybe go check some stores in person and maybe I will find something better. But if not, I'm gonna take two options from my wardrobe and those will be the last resort. Let's see what we have. <laughs> 
Midi skirts, no. Midi skirts, no, no, no. This thing is falling off. We don't like that. I've never worn this midi skirt. Do you remember it from that wearing children's clothes video? I bought it and it is camping in here. I bought this skirt a few months ago and I literally bought it so that I'm gonna be like a whimsical princess running around my garden, picking up the veggies. It has this high slit. Where is it? You see, I'm gonna be like a garden fairy in this one. Definitely playing this dress up when I come home. Okay. The dresses. This is one option that I have. I like it, but I think it's very like, I'm a teenager, I don't know. This one, no, it's too, I'm going to the beach. This one is pretty. It is again like, I'm a doll, I'm a teenager. <laughs> it doesn't work with the shoes. You cannot come with me. Too beachy, I think. No, it's too girly. This one is like, I'm a kid. But this one is also more like, I'm at home cooking type of dress. I'm thinking this one. The only problem that I have with this dress is that any kind of armpit sweat is very visible on this light blue color. My family is saying that it is super, super hot at home. It's 35 degrees Celsius. I know I'm gonna be anxious for the wedding just because I am always anxious in this kind of setting. I'm not even getting married. I really don't wanna be in this dress. And what if I start getting those, you know, armpit sweat vibes? When you're starting to get those and you notice it, and then you start to be like this because you don't want other people to see. And consequently, because you're doing like this, you get even more sweat. It's a vicious circle of sweat. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a stressed, sweaty person. If I am anxious, if I am stressed, I sweat. I can go run out in the sun and I'm not gonna sweat. You put me on a plane, in a social setting, to drive and I sweat. Oh, see, I have this blue dress also in white. The sweat stains would not be visible here, but it's white. It's a no-go for the wedding, so bye. Let's try on the dresses. I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood to try these dresses on. You've already seen them. If you've watched all my videos, then you've definitely seen them on. Why is my suitcase half empty? Hmm. Oh, I have these two shirts for my boyfriend to wear at the wedding. Almost forgot, that would suck. My suitcase is still half empty. I got this makeup bag that a cockroach has pooped into. And let's fill it up with makeup. I'm taking the nail polish because I'm definitely not having the time to do the nails today. Makeup brushes, nude eyeliner for the waterline, tweezers, primer, mascara, brow gel, foundation, concealer, concealer brush, lip crayon, some tiny elastics. If I may need it for the hairstyle, I don't even know what I'm doing. I haven't even curled my hair the past three years. I forgot how I look with curled hair. Not sure if it's a good idea to test it on the actual wedding day, because what if I end up hating it? We're gonna think of that struggles when they arrive. <laughs> Why is my suitcase still so freaking empty? What am I forgetting? Usually I take my PC, which I'm thinking of not taking this time. Maybe that's why this is a result. I'm boiling the eggs to take to the airport. I've cooked the eggs for five and a half minutes, so they're not gonna be as soft boiled as I usually make them. I hope I'm gonna find a corner where there's not many people so I can enjoy this in peace. I'm sure when I'm gonna be hungry, starving, hangry, I'm not gonna care and I'm just gonna peel my eggs and eat them even if the entire airport is watching me. It's not that big of a deal, okay? I'm just eating my eggs because I cannot have bread. I'm checking all the windows and doors, making sure everything is closed. There's a ton of windows here, so it will take a few minutes. Goodbye, Terrace. We'll miss you a lot. Morning, guys. I have my alarm made for three o'clock. It is 2.30 and I'm already up. I just cannot sleep anymore. I'm feeling so anxious. I don't even know of what. A little bit of driving, a little bit of going out in the darkness right now to close up the water. Reversing the car through the gate now during the night. Oh my God. I'm literally gonna use that five minute crafts hack where you put a panty liner under your armpit to sweat proof the shirt. We'll see how that goes. I made a little braid. It's 3 a.m. and I'm already done up. And now my mom is calling. Hello. I did a great job emptying out the fridge. I'm just gonna take this radish and my eggs. I'm also emptying the dishwasher. I always like to leave the house totally clean and tidy because then it's nicer when you come back. It's a bad feeling coming home from travel and entering a total chaos and disaster. I have this lemon to use up, so 
I'm drinking lemonade. Cheers! I usually use half a lemon, this is very sour. I'm gonna try all the faucets again, making sure they're all closed. Okay, my light, let's switch off the water. Uh. Yay, the water's closed and that wasn't even that scary. Night is very beautiful, very calm, no wind. I love that for me because I don't like flying on general, but when it's windy and turbulent, my suitcase is still so empty. Weird. It is 3.30. I am 30 minutes ahead of schedule, but I just think I'm gonna head out. I got cat food, I got the trash, I checked the fridge a billion times. I hope I didn't forget something. Let's go. I've reversed through the gate, super easy. I don't even know why I was so scared of it. And now we gotta feed the cats. Guys, I'm on the airport. I made it. I have plenty of time, but I have to pee urgently, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm so happy that I made it, even though I have to go on the plane right now, which is also another fear of mine. I'm stepping out of the comfort zone big time these days. I am one flight down, still one more to go. I'm sitting on a random gate right now. Also, as soon as I got off the plane, I went to the bathroom and changed my t-shirt. Because that five minute craft panty liner hack can only get you that far. But now it's time for me to eat the eggs, just as at home. I'm afraid they are still a little bit soft boiled. This could be a disaster. Guys, I'm here. I've arrived to Venice. I have one and a half hours to kill before the shuttle van arrives. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna eat the remaining two eggs and a chocolate. Definitely felt some weird stares while I was eating my soft boiled eggs inside the airport, so I came outside to eat the chocolate. And I mean, I understand it, but also, have you never seen an egg? Is that so weird? God damn. Also guys, to say that it's hot is an understatement. It is boiling. I am on the stove in a boiling pan. Sticky, stinky. I think I'm gonna go and change another shirt. I am so sweaty, my braid is in shambles. I am in desperate need of a shower. Just one hour drive left and I'm home. Good morning guys, today on the agenda we have lots of baking and in the afternoon we're planning a little shopping trip to Italy. I'm now helping my mom make the cookies that in the end will look like peaches. They're filled with walnut cream and looking so pretty. Next I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm off to the supermarket. <laughs> get ready seeing me wearing this same outfit for the next three days. In my hometown we live in the heart of the city and I love how I can just walk everywhere. Compared to my Portuguese home where I always have to drive a car, here I always do many more steps throughout the day. I'm back from the supermarket and very quickly what I got, some baking sheets because the wedding baking adventures continue. I got avocados, white caught salmon, two packs of blueberries, some nipple covers that I'm gonna wear under the dress for the wedding. I am not used to wearing these things. I only wear sports bras so I don't even know how this is gonna work. But the dress has a very strappy low back so I cannot wear a sports bra. I'll let you know what I think about this. Then I got a new brow gel. I've been enjoying this one a lot. New tweezers and a couple of things that I didn't need but still wanted to have. These hair clips and a Bird's Bees lip balm. I used to have this one in Norway and I remember liking it a lot so I saw it and I grabbed it and now I'm gonna try it. it smells like mint. It is very minty and kind of gives you a little bit of tingles. Maybe this is the plumping effect. I thought I took the original plain one but no with vitamin E and peppermint. Okay. Makes sense. Me and my mom just came back from a little shopping trip to Italy. The plan was to go check if maybe I could find a better dress for the wedding and I haven't. But I did get one little thing and that is this green t-shirt. It is very oversized, right up my street. And I really like the design here. It has this rainbow and it says stay groovy. I'm gonna be wearing it a ton. I decided for the wedding to go for this dress. It is super frilly, super flowy. I like the colors. I think it works for a summer wedding, right? It has to because I have no other options. And as for the shoes, I got a pair of sandals and they look like 
this. They are a bit more casual, so I'm gonna be able to wear them after the wedding as well. And we have a platform instead of a heel, which is the only way that I could go for. And as for the back, I'm just taking this white backpack because I'm also gonna take with me the camera, I may make some photos. We'll see. The crickets around our apartment are loud. You guys are aggressive. It's time to do some more baking with mom. This is one of my favorite cakes. I think it tastes a little bit like a cheesecake. So fresh and yummy. Very bummed though that I won't be able to eat it due to my gut issues. Now we're making the Lin's Eye Cookies. Again, one of my faves, they're made with two cookies with jam in the middle and sprinkled with powdered sugar. They look gorgeous and taste even better. They remind me of Christmas, cause that's when my mom usually makes them. Look at that precision. Mom could definitely be a pastry chef. It is one day before the wedding. We are currently packing all the sweet bakes. It is kind of a hectic day. Yes, I've been wearing the same outfit for as long as I've been here. Sorry, I don't have the brain capacity to think about fashion. Yum. Ooh, brownies, delicious. Dear God, help. Can you get your shite together? Cause I would like to participate in consuming these treats instead of just watching and salivating. Thanks. Okay, I got a problem. I was thinking of curling my hair tomorrow, but sometimes when I curl my hair, I like to pin it back a little bit. Otherwise it just looks like too much. So I was thinking of pinning my hair back somehow, maybe with two elastics, doing like two little pigtails. This could turn out a little bit childish, so maybe I'm not gonna do that. Like how old are you? I'm clear. These are not the vibes we're trying to achieve, so I don't think so. The other option could be two hair clips, but they don't have any other color in the store except black. I was hoping to get them in beige or gold to fit better with the dress, but no luck. But we're not gonna worry, cause who's the DIYer here? Me. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take a blue nail polish and I'm gonna color them up. Maybe it will work, maybe not, we'll find out together. I have these four blue shades and I think this one would work best with the dress. Hmm, sadly the opacity is not there, so let me try a darker blue. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Gotta apply a few coats, but ta-da, happy with the result. It's the day of the wedding, so it's time for a glow up. Step number one, let's wash the hair. I'm gonna let my hair air dry because I'm gonna be frying it with a curling wand later. So let's give it some grace until then. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean my lens, which I'm planning to take with me. It has to be squeaky clean, no dust on the lens. Let's do it. The hair is dried and I really don't know if I should curl it or not. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up, but hmm, your brother only gets married once, hopefully. So maybe I wanna do something more special and not be like this, like I am every day. Whoa, my rosacea has really been popping off today. Love this for me, not. And I already know that after curling the hair, it will be even more out there because heat is a big trigger. Some pieces are still a little bit wet, which is not ideal either. Why am I doing this? I'm already sweating so much. I literally don't remember when was the last time I curled my hair. It was so far back. Like, that memory is erased. The hair is curled. I look like a full moon right now. Definitely pinning it back a little bit later because now I have to go pick up a bridal bouquet. By the way, my rosacea is flaring. I was expecting that. But yeah, right now I gotta go and pick up the bridal bouquet. I'm gonna just walk there to the florist. Pray for me so I don't stumble, fall and ruin the bouquet. May happen. I know I have it in me. Okay, I got home, I got a quick shower and now I'm already sweating. Besides that, I'm also doing my makeup. So I'm basically multitasking, sweating and makeup. I'm gonna go for my everyday simple routine, no time to experiment. We are not trying to be risky here. We're just trying to make things work. Also, my rosacea really decided to take the spotlight today and I'm not having it, but I guess I am having it. I'm just feeling like super stressed and I don't even know why. Like it's not even your wedding girl. I'm probably super stressed because A, I have social anxiety and B, I somehow volunteered to take my camera with me and make some nice wedding photos, even though I never do photography, any photography, let alone wedding photography. And I'm not the main photographer there, but still I'm anxious. If I'm gonna be taking this big camera with me, I better do some nice photos with it. Know what I'm saying? I am so thankful that foundations exist. When you have rosacea like me, and especially on special occasions like today, it tends to be more out there because you're a bit stressed, you're a bit anxious. So rosacea is like, hello, hold on, I'm poking my eye. Remember that brow gel that I bought a few days ago? Well, it is definitely 
too dark, way darker than my older one. So I'm gonna go for old one. Luckily, I didn't throw it away. Mascara. Don't get it on the lid. Don't get it on the lid. Didn't get it on the lid. I have this new eyeshadow from MAC that I wanna use for my inner corners. I have to put it into this palette eventually, but for now, I really like it. It's more golden-y. Makeup is done. As for the hair, let's try to pin it back. Something like that, maybe? Probably gonna change it 70 times, and then I'm gonna just take it off and leave the hair down. Right, let's put on the dress. All right, guys, the dress is on, the shoes are on. I'm not gonna do any jewelry because I think the dress is already busy enough. Wish me luck that I can do some nice photos for my brother and his future wife, and let's go. The wedding was beautiful. With the help of my boyfriend, we managed to make some nice photos. All in all, great times. <laughs> 